Today I got a problem, and it lies right here in this shed. In this fridge, to be exact. And I know it's a problem because it is oozing out the bottom, and it is stinking up this shed something nasty. Let's open it up and see what we got. Hey everybody, it's your host Andrew Penzi with Vital Point. A couple months ago, I hung a couple deer shoulders in the, my spare fridge in here to let it dry age a bit. But instead of dry aging, it sort of dry rotted. And uh, it turns out my fridge conked out at some point. Uh, and by the time I went back to check it, it was nasty. So instead of cleaning it, it was a cold day, I just shut the fridge door and uh, decided not to think about it for a while. So here we are about two months later. It's a nice day and we got a big problem in here. Uh, it is pretty nasty. Behind these doors lies a monster. Uh, it is actually oozing out the bottom there, which is pretty scary. And I am afraid to open these doors because it stinks. I've been putting off cleaning the shed until the smell was gone. So I can't get anything done until we get rid of this thing. Right now I am more scared of this fridge than the coronavirus. But I got my gloves. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, that's bad. That's nasty. Oh. Yeah, it, now if this was prosciutto and that was like a natural aging or something, it might be pretty good, but that is not prosciutto. And those are not short and they smell so bad. Oh. There is a pool of liquid at the bottom there. That is just really nasty. Oh my gosh. We, oh, I can't even take it. I can't take it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. That's really, that is really bad. Uh, I'm going to go in with a plastic bag here and just try to scoop it up. Oh, I'm going to have to just take a deep breath. And, <laughs> Hold, hold my breath. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Oh. Oh. My goodness, this is so bad. I gotta get out of here. <coughs> oh. oh. Wow. That's so bad. I originally got that fridge. It was an extra fridge we had, and instead of throwing it out, I figured I'd dry age meat in there. And uh, so I have these racks set up to do that. But once in a while, it doesn't quite work out. There's really not enough ventilation uh, in the fridge to do it like I'd want to. But I made these little meat hooks, and uh, they work pretty good to hold up the limbs, the little hanger I made. And I actually just screwed some panels on the sides to hold up these rods. But, oh, yeah, that's, oh my gosh, there's maggots in there. How the hell do maggots get in a sealed fridge? I don't get it. Now comes the tough part. I gotta actually clean that fridge. Oh, what is this liquid? Oh, that's so bad. Oh. Yeah, this fridge is on and it's only 50 degrees in here. I was debating trying to clean out this fridge, but I think I might actually just toss it because it's not keeping temperature anyway. And I can't seem to figure it out. I've been battling this thing for two years and uh, frankly, I've lost a bunch of venison because of it. So I think it's time to... Oh, I'm psyched to have the extra space in my shed. Well, I will miss dry aging venison, but uh, I'll have to get a new fridge sometime. All right, that was a job well done. Now all I have to do is get rid of these jogging strollers that we never use. All right, guys, always make sure that your venison is well cared for and always aim for that vital point. Catch you next time.